today we're going to be comparing all of the Evo Dragons released during Ninjago Core. Ninjago Core was a series of Ninjago that wasn't supposed to be based off of any TV show series that was featured from years 2021 all the way up until our current year of 2023. However, sets were really only released during 2022 to 2023. Now, these sets were interesting because the Evo Dragons themselves are very goofy looking and don't exactly match any dragons that you would naturally see in the world of Ninjago prior to Core. However, these four dragons are each distinct in their own ways, so I'm going to be comparing them in this video so that you can decide which dragon you might want to purchase for yourself. During this video, I will not be reviewing side builds or minifigures due to the fact that this is just to compare the dragons. If you want to find out about those, you'll have to check out the playlist that I link at the end of the video so that you can see all of these sets in detail and decide whether you want the set based on minifigure selection or side builds from there. Anyway, without further ado, let's first talk about the heads of these dragons. These dragons use headpieces that were first introduced in Ninjago Seabound, the 14th season of Ninjago. And all of the headpieces here are different molds, different shapes, but all connect on the same bracket system that you can see slightly behind some of their heads here. Now, these brackets are all gray, so they don't really work for most of the dragons, but for dragons like Cole's Earth Dragon, you can see that that Dragon Evo works pretty well with the, the color scheme because the dragon is already very darkly colored. However, it might be a good idea to upgrade some of these dragons from parts within your own collection to make the heads stand out a little bit more on those brackets. Some of these heads are dual molded, like Jay's Dragon Evo. However, most of them are single molds, and Cole's Earth Dragon Evo features a new mold released for the second wave of core that was not prior able to be obtained from any other Ninjago set. Now moving on to the legs, they all use, for the most part, the Ninjago Evo joints, which are fixed position joints, meaning you can't bend them at the knees, but they are very sturdy and allow for some cool poses, as you can see here. However, one dragon in particular does not use any of these joints, and that is Cole's Earth Dragon Evo. It has very stubby and short legs that in my modification video that you can click on the top right corner right over here, and you can see exactly what this dragon looked like before, but for now I'm going to be using the modified version just for the sake of keeping the Evo Dragons looking very cool looking for the sake of this video. You can see that the legs are short and stubby and therefore cannot use those large Ninjago Evo joints. However, it's cool to see that there's different styles to Evo Dragons, and that style even carries on to the back legs of Nia's Water Dragon Evo as well. Now, there's a couple of different features that you'll see within all these Evo Dragons when you actually look at them, and that's that there are a lot of pieces that can be removed when you build them. In a minute, we'll take a look at their unevolved forms, and you'll be able to see the differences when they don't have things like their wings, gold armor plating, and some of them even have a middle segment that gets completely removed from the middle of the dragon. Now... This overall is a unique feature system, and you could easily display them as their unevolved versions, where they look more like companions for the ninja featured in the sets, rather than the armored-up versions, which look like they're ready for battle. Finally, before we take a look at the unevolved versions and how you can unevolve or evolve each of these dragons, I'm going to take a look at the wings for these dragons, because there are some very unique techniques used on each of the wings for these dragons that are interesting enough to be used in your own designs as well. The Kai Dragon Evo and J Dragon Evo are both sets that feature the same wing piece, which is also used in Ninjago Crystallized for the dragon suits of the ninja. These wing pieces are dual molded. For Kai, it's red with translucent orange, and for J, it's gold with translucent yellow. These color combinations are unique, and if you are able to use these in your own build, you could probably create some very unique dragons. It's also good to note that if you were to take eight of those wing pieces, you can link them into a full circle to create some really cool art-like pieces out of them. However, in this case, the wings are attached in weird ways on both of them. For J's... Dragon Evo here, you can see the wings are attached to the front feet here, and it's very weird because that means the wings have to move with the legs, meaning that there's limited posability with the legs there. 
However, with Kai's Dragon Evo, you can see they added more wings on top of the wings and then added claws at the end. While this looks a little better, the positioning of the wings kind of gets in the way of the front legs as well because you can't fold them down all the way and you can't really pose them that much. But the wings do look good. On the other hand, we have two very different cases for the other Evo Dragons released in 2023. Nia's Water Dragon Evo features a very unique design of wings that's like many other Ninjago Dragons we've gotten before it. Just a couple of katana pieces that can easily look, in this case, to be like wings. However, I don't think that that's the best look for Ninjago Dragons. I'd definitely choose the other Evo Dragon wings over that. And Cole's Earth Dragon Evo uses these wings that first were released for dinosaurs. However, these wings were also used in a 4 Plus Dragon for Ninjago Core in 2023 as well. So, all of these are good wing pieces to use for dragons, and they each make the dragons look interesting in their own way. Now I'm going to show you one by one how you can devolve the dragons to show you what they all look like when they are in their unevolved forms to finish off the review. So first off, let's move the other dragons out of the way, and let's take a look at Jay's er, Lightning Dragon Evo. This is probably the simplest of the ones for you to purchase. It's $20, comes with two minifigures, pretty substantially sized build, and the Evo system actually looks really good with it. You can see for the front here that this dragon does feature the wing pieces connected into Technic sockets within the Evo joints. For the first evolution aspect, we're just going to remove those to take the wings off. Essentially, this dragon no longer will be able to fly. Additionally, we'll remove the saddle off the top, and we'll take off part of the tail segments so that it's just a simple, very short design tail like so. And the final thing we're gonna do for this dragon is just clip the middle segment out. One interesting thing about these Evo Dragons is they're one of the only sets that will tell you in the instructions to legitimately take your set apart when building it. However, this is what it looks like when it's completely unevolved. Now, this is what it would look like halfway when you're through when you're building the set, but I think this dragon is good in its own right because it looks very playful and joyful, much like the Island series of Ninjago with their dragon that acted basically like a dog. In this case... There are no ability for the dragon to fly, and a lot of the interesting features have been removed, but it is an alternate way to display your dragon if you wanted it to look a little less menacing and more playful. This is also a good unique design that you can combine with other Evo Dragon parts that have the same connection system that we're going to look at as well. You'll see that in this case there are still some gold elements, but not that many, and that's something that you might not see a lot of on the other Evo Dragons, where it literally asks you to remove all the gold pieces. Without further ado, let's take a look at the next dragon that we'll look at here. Next dragon we're looking at is Kai's Fire Dragon Evo. Again, we're going to start by completely removing these wing pieces because the wing pieces are not needed for the unevolved versions. And we're also going to remove the saddle, just like the unevolved version of Jay's Evo Dragon. You'll see this is a common thing that almost all of the Evo Dragons do where when you remove the entirety of that saddle piece, if I can move it here, it's a little bit tough, you can see that it reveals that there's more like scale patterns on the back of your dragon. That's a pretty cool feature that I think it should have been more prominent in the fully evolved version, but that's okay. Then on the head, we're just gonna remove these two golden side pieces, making it so the horns basically are removed, and moving onto the legs, we pretty much just have to take off all of the gold elements on the front legs and pretty much all of the gold elements on the back legs as well. This is what I meant when most of the dragons don't use a lot of gold because a lot of the sets will make you completely remove the gold from the legs here. Now, kind of, I feel like this is a bit of a downgrade for most of these dragons because Ninjago is known for using a lot of gold in their sets. So it wouldn't be very nice if you were to have a set that didn't have any gold on it, but that's okay. Additionally, the tail gets another segment removed, just like the J-Dragon Evo, and you can even remove the flame piece from the back of the tail. Now the tail looks very interesting like this, 
However, you can take this even a step further by also removing the middle segment to the dragon as well. After you do that, you'll have the completed, unevolved version of Kai's Dragon Evo. This Dragon Evo is very similar to Jay's, however, it looks much more bare with no gold whatsoever. It's very small and playful, and it's just another fun little build. However, it may not be the best of all the unevolved versions, so maybe consider another dragon if you're looking for the unevolved version. The next dragon we're going to take a look at and see its unevolved form of is Nia's Water Dragon Evo. Now, the interesting part about this is its unevolved feature is essentially very much more simple compared to the others. First, you're just going to take the golden piece off the tail, take the saddle off, and take all the armor pieces off of the legs, and unclip the golden pieces for the wings. You don't have to remove anything from the head for this dragon, and there is no middle segment to be removed. You don't even have to take a part off the tail. So this dragon still looks like the final evolved form, just without the wings and without gold detailing. Again, it looks like it would be more of a companion, less of a fighting dragon this way. However, I think this lurks very well for this dragon because it doesn't change the shape of the dragon, and you're literally just adding armor to it when you want it to be in battle-ready positioning. This might be the best dragon in its unevolved form in my eyes, so if you're really looking for a good unevolved form dragon, but without using too much of the Evo system, you might want to consider this dragon. Especially since the details are very prominently shown when you remove all the gold pieces. The final dragon that we're going to see how it looks when it's unevolved is Cole's Earth Dragon Evo. And this is kind of a weird dragon here, because this dragon is... Probably the most unique out of all of them. So for this dragon, we're going to start with the head here. They have these giant horns. You're just supposed to take these horns off. The gold on the bottom of the draw is permanent, so that kind of stays there. Next, we're going to remove the saddle. Remove the wings on each side. Honestly, it makes the legs look a little bit weird when you just have that like that. However... Moving on to the back side, the tail gets completely removed. This dragon has no tail in its unevolved form, which is kind of silly, but it is an earth dragon, so having a tail isn't necessarily something that you would see in every single idea of an earth dragon. Finally, this dragon, just like the first two dragons from the first wave of core, also could have this middle segment entirely removed. Now, you'll need to repose the legs when you connect the back piece back in, because it immediately becomes apparently clear that it has a very different design from what you started with. It looks more like maybe a gerbil or a rabbit, the way it looks all hunched up like that in a ball. But it does show off the more of the horn pieces that are used for, like, spikes on the dragon without the saddle being in the way. Additionally, you can see the detailing from the stickers are still apparent all over this dragon. Even the ones on the back are still visible somewhat, and it's still a great dragon overall. There is no way to pose minifigures on this dragon, unlike the others where you could probably still stand the minifigure on them. But overall, this is pretty good and is the most detailed of all of the Evo dragons in both its evolved and unevolved form. So, this one would be good if you're looking for a really overall detailed dragon. Now, let's take a look at all these, and I'll give you the final thoughts of them while they're still in their unevolved forms. And you might be able to pick out one of these if you wanted to get one. So, thinking about this overall, this is a very interesting set of sets. They're very goofy looking and not very interesting to see. However, one of them has something going for them that the other two do not. Cole's Earth Dragon Evo here is actually a dragon that gets featured in this new season of Ninjago Dragons Rising. Therefore, if you're looking for a set that's canon to the series this dragon would also be good. It's also confirmed that all of the Core Wave ninja suits are also canon to the show now, so if you're looking to pick up a ninja suit that is in the show, any of these dragons would be a good bet. However, Kai, Nia, and Cole's dragons are some of the cheapest ways to obtain all of those three minifigures. If you wanted to get them with their armor and everything, so this is the best way to look for those minifigures. Now, in terms of the dragons themselves... 
I think if my if I had to pick a favorite, it would have to be Jade's Dragon Evo because it embodies the, the aspect of the dragons being goofy, creative little creatures, and overall has some very unique pieces like lightning bolts for the tail, the special wing pieces, all the Evo joint pieces, and is the only Evo dragon to feature a dual molded headpiece. However, there's one more thing I'd like to consider. Even though I'm not reviewing the minifigures or side builds for this set, I will be reviewing the prices because there are some things you may need to know about the prices for these sets. The two sets that are the cheapest, which are for $20 each, are Nia's Water Dragon Evo and Jay's Lightning Dragon Evo. Now, these dragons are very small compared to the other ones and feature a less exciting selection of minifigures sometimes. However, Nia's Water Dragon Evo is one of the cheapest sets to feature the new Bone Weapon Pack for the villains as well, so it's a unique way to get that as well. Now, the other two dragons, on the other hand, are retailing for $35 now. There's a issue with Kai's Dragon Evo because it was originally $30, and they updated it with the price hike of LEGO to make it $35. I think it was a good $30 set, and I did purchase it back when it was $30, so I can vouch for, at the time when I purchased it, it is definitely probably one of the best purchases you can possibly get. However, I wouldn't suggest it if you can't find it on sale, which makes it a little bit less of a desirable set. However, a minifigure selection in that set is great with some other minifigures, but go and look at my review on that dragon at the end of the video if you want to really go and see what those are like. Additionally, Cole's Earth Dragon Evo, while it is seemingly expensive at first, I think that that dragon is probably worth the most of all of these Evo dragons, and maybe even worth more than the $35 set price point. There's a lot of unique pieces and very interesting building techniques used, and a lot of the different pieces to the set are exclusive to the set, including some exclusive stickered pieces, as well as that new jaw piece, which is only used in one other set, but not printed with any eye pattern or anything on it. Additionally, all the gold horns make it a very desirable build, and if you were to simply modify it, like in my modification video, you'd be able to easily make this dragon one of the coolest dragons that you've ever gotten. Additionally, since it's in the show, it is more desirable now than it was when it was first released. So overall, what do I think about these dragons? These dragons are basically the best setup of dragons we have for the entirety of Ninjago so far because they embody the aspect of goofiness and are very much aimed towards kids. However, the building techniques and styles could easily be used in an adult's collection and I feel like they wouldn't be out of place if you were to display them with other Ninjago stuff. However, you might notice that there's two dragons that don't exist in Evo Dragon form and that would be the dragon for Zane and a dragon for Lloyd. Now Lloyd got a legendary dragon in 2022 and Zane got a six-legged ice dragon creature in 2023. So those dragons are not Evo dragons but they use the same head mold system with a slight bit more detail and still use pretty much the same style of a build of the Evo dragons. So while they aren't Evo Dragons, you might want to consider getting those instead if you're looking for a more detailed, more pieces build. However, they are more expensive, and these might be some of the cheapest dragons that you can obtain nowadays, so it is worth looking into them. On the final notes for this video, I'm not saying that any of these sets are bad. However, there may be some points in which they don't look so good, so that can be up to your own discretion when you go to purchase these dragons. I purchased them because I was a big fan of Ninjago, and I ended up falling in love with the design of these dragons. So, I personally have grown to like them, but I know it may not be the same for every person. This video is just my opinion on which dragons are good and why the Evo dragons are the best dragons ever. However, in the end, it's up to you to make your own decision on what sets you purchase. I'm just here to guide you along the right path so that you can pick out the best LEGO sets that you might want to have for your collection. Now, remember to check the, out the playlist at the end of the video for each of the individual reviews for these dragons. Feel free to go check them out. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot, and it shows me that you are also a Corn and Jago fan, and someone who really enjoys hanging out and playing with Legos. 
So feel free to stick around for future videos, and soon I will hopefully be able to obtain the Ice Dragon creature so I can do a review on that as well. So be on the lookout for a video when that comes. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.